everyone, thanks for joining me. Today we're continuing the sublimation series and we're starting with a puzzle for today. Evie has a birthday this weekend, so I thought it'd be really fun to make her a puzzle and these are gonna be really fun gifts. Again, for Christmas and for the holidays and just for even a kid's birthday party, you could do the theme of the party on here. I can think of all kinds of fun ways to do this. This would even make a really cute invitation. You could get a smaller one and put it on a a smaller puzzle and put it in an envelope and that could be the invitation to a kids party How fun would that be and the kids would go wild now when you get a sublimation puzzle It will come they come single wrapped like this in cellophane and there's a piece of cardboard on the back I suggest you keep that piece of cardboard That's what I've got under here and that's just going to keep those pieces from popping off as I'm working with it so you do need to preheat your sublimation puzzle and I've already preheated it because when you apply the transfer this needs to be cooled down so I didn't want to have to wait in the video but to preheat all I would do is place it on there leave it on the cardboard just put a cover sheet on here close the lid I've got it set at 340 and just give it about two or three seconds open it up and let it cool down before you apply the transfer. The next thing we're going to do is apply our transfer to the um, to the puzzle. So let me flip the camera around. Here we are, and I'm just working. I had it sitting on this Easy Press mat just because it was hot and cooling down. I didn't want it to warp my mat. So I've got. I'm just going to grab my piece of parchment paper that I had sitting on the um, press. And I'm just going to work on top of that so that I can tape this down. I have my sublimation print and I just want to make this so that it is centered on the design. All right, so I want to kind of get an idea where they're at. This is obviously a lot bigger than it needs to be. But I wanted to make sure that I had edge to edge coverage. So I actually, this is an eight by 11 puzzle, this particular one, they have them in all different sizes. Um, so I just made my picture eight and a half by 11. And I'm going to tape this down so that it does not move. And I'm using my heat transfer tape. Don't want to use scotch tape or anything like that. So now I'm going to put this cardboard back over it so that I can flip this over without losing any pieces. I want to make sure that I keep everything flat. I'm going to put the camera back up here. Okay, so we've got, we're back at the heat press. I've picked up my whole sandwich. I've got the parchment paper on the bottom, then the puzzle face up, and then my image face down on top of the puzzle. I'm going to make sure everything is nice and smooth. I'm going to cover that with a piece of butcher paper. Now, I've had a few questions in the videos because I've said parchment paper and I've said butcher paper. You can use either one. Both are working fine. And when I say parchment paper, I'm using parchment paper, but that doesn't mean you can't use butcher paper. So again, we're going to press this at 340 for 60 seconds. I did put it on a pretty a medium to heavy pressure just because in case any of those pieces were popped up a little bit, I want to make sure that they're nice and flat as the image is getting transferred. So we're going to let this cook for 60 seconds and I'll be right back. Okay, we have about five seconds left. We're just about ready for the big reveal. And again, I put this on a pretty heavy pressure. So forgive me while I use a little muscle to open it. I'm going to take my parchment paper out. I don't have any, or this was actually butcher paper. I don't have any ink on it, so I can reuse that. And I'm just going to lift up my whole sandwich and bring it over here to my work surface. So to set it on the easy press mat, and this is a perfect size mat to work with at your desk. And I'm going to carefully lift this off. Oh yeah, it looks so good. It's a little warm, you might want to put your heat gloves on. But again, here is the image after I have used it. It looks almost like I could probably get a real vintage uh, transfer out of this but let me show you the puzzle. So here's our finished puzzle. Isn't this the cutest? It has kind of a glossy finish. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, but really, really cute. I know Ace and Evie are going to love this. They love anything that's got their picture on it. And what fun gifts this is going to make. Great keepsakes for weddings, showers, birthday parties. Again, I think this would make a really cute 
birthday party invitation to make these for the kids and send to them. How fun. Or to make as uh, take home gifts. You could take pictures during the party and crank some of these out and send each kid home with their own personalized puzzle. Great for teachers, great for school, great for daycares, all kinds of ideas come to mind when I think about these puzzles. So I hope you guys enjoyed this sublimation video. Again, this is part of the sublimation series. We have been doing all kinds of things and I am actually creating a sublimation cheat sheet for all of the projects that we've done, but so far we've done a polyester t-shirt, mugs, ceramic coasters, mouse pads, pop sockets, can koozies, sequin pillows. Um, I've got a couple more listed here that I haven't shown you yet, so I'm not gonna tell you yet. Uh, we have a, we've done a zipper bag, we've done a wine bag, we've done face mask. I showed you how to sublimate on cotton t-shirts. So if you're looking for any of those videos or how to's, look in the description below the video. And again, I will be releasing my cheat sheet here shortly that's got all of the times and settings for everything that I have released so far. So thanks so much for watching and until next time, never stop making. See you guys, bye bye. Here are a couple more videos from my sublimation series that you might enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click that bell so that you're notified every time there's a new video. You can subscribe simply by clicking my logo right here. Thanks.